while back. And you didn't say anything? Well, she managed to talk her way out of it, but I should have known at the time. <laughs> oh, well, I can't imagine it'll last too long. I don't give a damn how long it lasts. I'm just pleased for Rick's sake that I was barking up the wrong tree. Mm. What's this about Rick? Oh, love, it's probably old news to you, but we just heard about your mum and Macca's relationship. What? Oh, sorry, love. Um, Amanda did say she was keeping it quiet, but I thought you would have known. M mum and Macca? This explains why he's hanging around the house so much. I know what happened with baby Noah and Charlie really hurt you, but this is different. This is you and me. Yeah, Rachel, I know, but it's not about that. But that experience, it did show me that I'm just not ready to be a dad. Not that I didn't love the boys to death. I was just too young. You know, I still am. There's a lot of things I want to do with my life before I get permanently tied down. Like what? Well, I want to travel. I want to open my own training centre. I just want to be free to do things, go places. Free? You want to be free? Yeah, look, you know what I mean. Well, Kim, being married by definition means that you're not a free agent anymore. It's about compromise. Yes, OK, but there's compromise and then there's compromise. Look, I just... I'm not going to be ready to have kids in my 20s. I'm sorry. If we wait 10 years, I'll be 38 when we start trying. I kind of want a big family, three or four kids. So if I don't start till I'm nearly 40... Rachel, heaps of people are having babies at that age now. Yeah, OK, I don't want to be one of them. I know the statistics, I know the medical side. It's harder at that age. I don't want to risk waiting. Can't you see where I'm coming from? Yeah, I can, but can't you see my side of it as well? Yeah, OK. <sighs> my situation isn't about choice, it's about biological fact. Yours are about whims. Oh, hang on, so what are you saying? What I want isn't important. No, your situation is more changeable than mine. Rachel, why should I be the one to make this big sacrifice when you're clearly not prepared to make one either? <sighs> Okay, obviously we're not going to solve this by arguing about it. We need to go away and do some serious thinking. And if we can't work something out? Well, then we're in serious trouble. Why wouldn't you just tell me? I, I live there. I'm a daughter. No, well, here's your chance to ask her. Why didn't you tell me you were saying Macca? Oh, I'm sorry, darling. But it's not something that I really wanted everyone to know about. Just if I would tell anyone. Belle, what Macca and I have, it's it's not a serious relationship. We're not in love. We, we just see each other when it's convenient. It didn't seem important enough to tell you. I'm sorry. Where is Macca, anyway? Uh, he's at my place. Afternoon, all! <laughs> You're looking at the ladies' cup, they run her up! <laughs> Well, it's quite an achievement, you know. So I was making a dog's breakfast out of the facts. What are you talking about? Macca. You had me bail him up because I thought he was having an affair with Cassie behind Rick's back when it was Amanda he was seeing all along. No, that can't be right. He was talking about a girl and he was calling a she. Why would he say she if he's talking about you? Well, we always talk like that. It's just in case Belle came in. And he said the girl had a boyfriend. You don't have a boyfriend, do you? Um, no, he was just teasing me. Oh, he sounded very serious. No, they are together, Mrs. Smart. I knew about it too. Well, like yesterday days ago when Macca was coming around to the house heat. You knew and you didn't tell me. Well, I didn't want to be spreading rumours about your mum when she'd just given me a job. You could have hidden it better, you know. Yeah, well, that's besides the point. And if you ever listen to my private conversations again, that will be the end of our arrangement, are we clear? Yeah, of course. It's not usually like me. I better get to work. <laughs> I'm, I'm glad to hear that you're staying. I would have been worried about you if you left. With good reason. Emily could read you so well. How are you holding up? It's still pretty surreal. Uh, she was only here this morning. The letters helped a lot. Yeah, I hoped it would. I still haven't been back to the apartment, though. The thought of being there alone. It's not going to be easy. You should stay for dinner. You sure? Yeah, yeah, of course. Thanks, Sal.
did you know that I was lying about Maka? Everyone else was convinced. I've seen the look on your face when you're attracted to someone, and you never look at Maka that way. I've only ever seen you look that way at me. I don't want to have this conversation with you again, okay? Then look me in the eye and tell me you feel nothing for me. Amanda, stop playing these games. We both obviously want the same thing. So why don't we do something about it? You are a 17-year-old boy, for God's sake. What difference does that make to how we feel? <sighs> Amanda, just listen, just wait, and we can talk about this. I'm sorry, I've got to go. Amanda, I... about what you said but I keep coming back to the same place I'm not going to be ready to have kids in my 20s Kim I know that this isn't what you had in mind but isn't there any way that you can see past that I'm sorry so you you don't want kids for 10 years which means we might not have them at all you can live with that Rachel I can't force it right? and I'm not going to lie to you the longer I wait, the harder it's going to be. Well, I don't know what to say. I, I can't fix it. Let me get this straight. A bit of travelling, surfing, beer drinking is uh, more important uh, to you than what I really uh, want. No, no, it's not, OK? It's not about that. Uh, but you asked me to go away and think about it. Now, don't attack me for telling you how I feel. No, it's so selfish. Well, so is you making me do what you want. No, you knew how I felt about having a family. Why didn't you tell me that you felt this well, way? I didn't know you were going to rush into it like this. I'm not rushing. I'm 28. Well, Rachel, you had your 20s. All, right? all I'm asking is if I could have mine too. Oh, that's great. I never thought our age difference would be a problem. Now I'm starting to think maybe I was wrong. Yeah, well, that goes for both of us, then. Hey, Sweeney. Where's Drew? He said he had some stuff to sort out. Hmm. Everything all right between you two? He's being weird. Hmm? Love, it's understandable, you know. What with the business with the police and that? No, it's more than that. Uh, why didn't he tell me he knew about Amanda and Becca? No, I, I feel like I'm doing all the talking. He's not even listening half the time. He's mine somewhere else. I just wish I knew where. What are you doing here? I know how hard this must be for you because it's it's hard for me too the last thing I want to do is hurt Belle but my feelings for you are so strong no, you can argue all you like but it's not going to change the way I feel I just want to be with you Amanda This isn't just an older woman. It's his girlfriend's mom. I've never felt like this about anyone before. But will it go any further? What scares me is that I enjoyed it so much. Plus, I don't want to wait 10 years for kids. What do you want to break up? Will she call off the wedding? Rachel, don't do this. Home and away. 